Wow. Whoa. Whoa. It's the it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on spaceship Earth. How's Orange County Jackson coming in hot, dude? Is it Friday? 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 Little ASMR noise for you. Packaging up some t-shirts. Going out to Illinois. Don't forget to get some t-shirts. We got some, we got some new David Kelso. What's going on? We got uh we got our new designs are almost here, are almost in ready. I got a whole I got Andrew and Jeanette, baby Ozzy, team, team fellow homesteaders are making up, up some new designs. We have the 2023 shirt is uh, design is ready. Oklahoma in the house. Mark, Matthew, Josh, Huntington Beach in the house. Oh, you're that's an Orange County surfers here. Ryan, Grateful Ed. Ah, oh, Jeanette, I just got I just replied to you and you and Andrew. We'll have we'll have a meeting, dude. Fired up on the new designs, dude. What's happening in the Matrix? I don't know. Are we on Spaceship Earth or the Matrix today? I'm uh, I woke up to uh Easy Fluff. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. So uh three days in a row we've woken up to to snow to snow here it's been fantastic get up in the morning have a little bit of snowball fight it's usually gone by um oz in the house dude our, our brothers from down brothers and sisters from down under are getting back in on the swing there's cactus 64 right below dude another australian dude so uh we had three days of snow in the morning and um it's been fun, dude. We get up, I clean the solar panels. We we have a little snowball fight. It's usually gone by by 10. And then uh it's been like a rhythm, dude. So we we when we kind of got up here, we wanted snow, and then we it didn't seem like it was like we we're a little below the snow zone. And then this storm's just been coming in and and dumping about, I don't know, an inch and a half a night. So it's been fun, dude. It's been super, uh, which I think we're at like 2,700 feet, but we're up in the mountains, you know? So it's, uh, it's the thing like this, this has been a low storm. So it's the, uh, it's been, we've been getting, we're going to get some more snow over the next like five days too, dude. And, uh, and it's, it's super rad. I always, I always get fired up on the, uh, the weather. I like weather, dude. Like, I talk about dude the there was the the beginning of this storm was just a huge wind event. It was crazy, dude. What's going on, Carooster? Grateful Ed. Brett, 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 Brett. So um we're here, man. You should get your pilot's license. You should do a lot. I should do a lot of things, man. Isaiah approach. There you are, my brother. Yeah, I got to do a lot of things, dude. I'm just, I'm just trying to get back into the, uh, into the groove here, dude. Into the groove. I've been making a point of sitting down and doing art in the morning. I'm getting, we're getting uh, all of our our t shirts, t shirts ready, and uh, all that kind of stuff, man. We come, we're coming in, we're we're making a play here, dude. Getting ready. Spring's going to be here before you know it, dude. And uh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've been definitely trying to post more videos and um, and do the do the weekly Talons Out Ranch video. That's kind of fun. It's good for you, Bear Claw 69, three months sober from weed. Yes, fantastic, dude. And uh and trying to just trying to get into the it's actually been a little bit it's been it's been I had a big wave of like I didn't like editing for a while because of it just it's kind of hard 
I don't mean like hard. I mean, just like, you got to kind of stay, like you got to, there's, you got to go through it in like a system and it takes a while and you got to stick to it and you got to kind of, so I just sort of lost my enjoyment of editing videos, but I've, I'm kind of getting back there a little bit. I'm, I've been enjoying the Italians out ones because I figured out the part that would always bum me out was like the app I use on my phone is, uh, like you can never cut the end off, but I finally figured out how to do it. So that's, that's been a, a, it was like hard to, you had to like go through the whole clip and sometimes you have like a three minute clip, dude. And you're like, dude, like, ah, oh, I don't want to do that. So I split it and then I don't hit split and I find out where I, I it like moves it. Anyway, whatever, dude, we're, uh, we're trying to trying to make it happen, dude. Flying by the seat of our pants, man. Flying by the seat of our pants, right? So uh, what's happening, man? I don't know. Like positivity, like stoke, like good good vibes, all that kind of stuff. And then you know, at the same time, it's uh, the daily reminder that that we it's going to be like. Yeah, I used to love editing videos in the beginning. That's why I haven't made any no balls, no nets in a while. Like, it's like a thing, dude. What are we looking for next episode? Seven X next episode. What's it's? I download them. I'm trying to be super consistent and download them at 10 a.m. Monday morning Pacific Standard Time. I was, I was like an hour off on the last one just because I had a, a rendering issue. It's the, it's the greenhouse. It's, it's the rendering issue. That's what always like used to like that. I forgot how annoying that is, is like the whole, like, it's just got to render. That's why I do it on my phone versus my laptop. For some reason, the laptop seems to take way longer than my phone. Not so much rendering, but uploading. Well, ah, there's bare Pelagic coffee, dude. There you are, my brother. If you want the best coffee out there, dude, get some bare pelagic coffee, dude. Dude, your boy's gone crazy, dude. <laughs> your boy, dude. Icarus is getting too Icarus is getting too close to the sun there, dude. Bare pelagic bear. He's showing us, he's showing some dirty wings, dude. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, good to see you, Bear Pelagic Bear. Um, where's the, where's the where's my sticker, dude? I have one sitting right here. Where is it? Ah, ah. where did that go, dude? We got we got it. We got to promote our sponsor, dude. Because I just had a cup of your fantastic coffee. A second ago, dude. Wait, hold on. A little commercial interruption, dude. Get there, it is. There's the number. You see the number, dude. Get some. This is. I haven't tried this one. This is the the Yuki Minami Brazil anaerobic, dude. And look, see, look at the signature, hand signed right there with the little wheelchair. It's pretty good, dude. I, I have to admit, I do the, the the signature. I get a kick out of the signature thing, dude. So, uh, can we get fired up on Bear Pelagic Bear? Good dude, real human being. You gotta call him. No email orders, dude. So, uh, get yourself some coffee, man. And um, yeah, it, it's been it's been it's been an interesting thing. I've been watching the. Uh, what are your thoughts on psychedelic use to induce? I think it's a hoax, but 
I've made plenty of videos about that stuff, dude. I think it's another cop out, but uh, it's your life, man. I don't, I don't, I don't see how that's the, the mist. How about the mystical experience is just you're here. I always trip on that thing. I, I'm, and I'm not loop blowing you up there, Ryan, but I always get a kick out of this. What are your thoughts on the psychedelic to, to induce mystical experiences? Okay. So, and treat depression, find unity with all peace, love itself. Dude, it's right now. Dude, the mystical experience is this moment but you've been taught not to see it. Like if you truly understand what the mystical experience is, it's this moment in time and space. It, th this is the mystical experience. Does it, does it have a bunch of dripping walls and, and elves and, and, you know, crows flying through the center of your brain? Maybe, I don't know. But like when you've discovered all, you'll realize that the psychedelics is, is, to if that's your goal to get there you're already there you just don't see it because they've taught you that right now isn't true when right now is the truth there is no other truth except right now where god exists god exists right here right now an infinite would once you discover that dude you wouldn't you don't need to go somewhere else to have a mystical experience that's like that that's like the rub with it all like sure you can go do all that stuff but you can't do it right now can you so 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 if you so how are you going to treat your depression if it's if you got if it's not right now you have to treat your depression right now and the reason you're depressed is because you've been taught not to to view this very moment in time and space as mystical. This is this is it. Like it doesn't it doesn't need to get any more fantastic than this right now. Here, here, here's your here's your like like you know what I mean. Like it it doesn't need to be anything else. It really can just. be be sitting still dude like i was listening to uh my buddy neil kramer i don't know him personally i just i just have a, an an affinity for his message so so uh neil kramer was was is not down with meditation and i he was in, he's into contemplation and i was like that's pretty interesting because like i don't i don't really groove to the whole meditation thing either it's just not but i'm into the contemplation right and it's the same thing it's just a different way to approach it you know it's all about calming the mind and letting the letting the data in without judgment or without having to put a label on it dude and um it, it's 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 fantastic and what i notice is everybody's looking for a way out dude everybody's looking for a way out right now. Stop looking for a way out. Look for a way in, right? It, it's that whole, remember when like, what was it? Timothy Leary was drop, drop, drop acid and drop out or whatever it was, dude. What was the Timothy Leary quote? Wait, hold on, dude. Oh, wait. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Turn on, tune in and drop out. Turn on, tune in and drop out, dude. Right. It, it's 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 the thing of like. One, once you once you realize you're not getting out of this, dude, it's here. It's here. You're in it like this is it. This is it. I know it. that that's the, the, the big hustle that the Western world and the media people and the corporations have inflicted upon all of us is to view that this moment in time and space is lackluster, that there's something else. It's, it's over there. It's on top of that mountain, dude, climb Everest, jump out of a helicopter, you know, pull a, pull a Dan Brazilian area in dude, pull, you know, dude, you got to have a fast car and all these things. And, I just watched two crows fly by my window. It's, speaking of crows flying through the center of your head, right? So it, it's um, it's this thing we've been brainwashed into not seeing the absolute 
majesty and grace and miracle right in front of our face. And and dude, it's like the fact that you can see through your eyes, dude. Do you know what 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 what, what proof like the proof of God is just the mere fact that your eyes and your brain are doing this full like disco dance with the uh with the electromagnetic magnetic waves and electricity and and bioelectrical units to and the lens and the ocular thing like dude just trip on your eye dude that's what i mean like if you're looking for a mystical experience look no further than your eye <laughs> like it's it's right 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 in right in your face <laughs> But but I got it. Like they've told you it, it needs to be like down in some Brazilian jungle with some hairy shaman, dude, wrapped in, in, in linens, dude, or you know, some some beat Texas farmer, dude, with the brown jug of ayahuasca, dude, or or you know, it's it's some 50 chamber bong with a bunch of like you know, C3PO dust on it, or, or it's, it's some, it's some perfect specimen of, of human anatomy, dude, sitting on your face, dude. Like, how about it's just the fact that like, you're sitting pondering the concept of what the mystical experience would be. Like, that's what I mean. It's like, when you really, you, the answer to depression, start realizing that this is the, this is it. It's not over there. That's why they've got you depressed. Everyone's depressed. Everyone thinks it's over there. It's the next sound bite. It's the next song. It's the next, it's the next TikTok video. It's the next, how about it's just here, here, right now, with, with this moment. There's no one coming. You're alone. It doesn't matter how many people or loved ones surround you. You will always be alone at the end of the day. That's why you got to go get God. The minute you go get God of your own understanding, whatever that is, you will find out that you've never been alone. And that may, that makes all the people around you like, like, like light up, dude. Like that's the thing. Because if you're looking for companionship or whatever the opposite of alone is with other people, they're always going to fall short, dude, because they're alone too. Like, do you, like that's why like that weird thing of like, where two or more are gathered there, God is right. Like it's the catalyst to the whole thing. Like, but, but the premise of it all is getting with God and then boom. So that's why you kind of want to be around people that, are not alone because they're with God, if that makes any sense. So, so there's my, there's my thoughts on the psychedelic need for psychedelic mystical experiences. <laughs> uh, audio is probably sketchy, dude. Who knows? We live out in the country, man. That's what we do, dude. We got to get past all that, man. Let's see. Nope, audio's not sketchy, dude. That's on your end. Yeah, well. So, yeah, we're over the target, of course. Do, don't yearn for human love. It will vanish. Behind every human love is spiritual love of God. Seek that. Yogananda, dude. Yeah. It's, it's, um... I'm unsubscribing. Bye. Let me help you out the door, dude. Fantastic, dude. That's the best news of the day, dude. <laughs> you, yeah, you made my day, dude. You should, next time you're going to do pull the I'm unsubscribing by, like do it with like a purple top chat just to really like drive the message home, dude. <laughs> Was it was it the was it the fact that you don't need to go travel halfway across the planet to go to go get weird with a shaman to have a mystical experience? Would that be it? Would it be what would it what would it be? What do what did we do wrong? Ah, uh, they like the psilocybin. Yeah, you know, nobody wants nobody wants their, you know, their their wooby taken away, dude. You know, it's, it's like, it's like that. Was it Linus? It's, it's really like Linus for some people. It's like the Charlie Brown Linus, right? The dude with the blanket. It's, uh, 
it's it's they don't want their little blanket taken away their little psychedelic excuse their little their little shot glass their little bong whatever like go at it dude i don't have a problem with it i'm just saying if you're trying to get past this hustle then you're going to have to face the hustle like the, like there's no getting out of the hustle that's that's the hottest look you're talking to a dude andrew Oh, mic drop. <laughs> You're talking to a dude who thought there was a way out of the hustle for a long time. So so in my 20s, I thought the way out of the hustle was to was fear and loathing and just gonzo reality, just drugs, alcohol. Blah! That then then in my 30s, I I was stuck, dude, just stuck. And then I got sober and I thought my way out of the hustle was the truth. Dude, just dig into the truth, dude. Just wait, just dig into all the truth. You'll find the answers, dude. And then you get to the point where you realize, dude, you're there's the hustle isn't meant to be gotten out of. The hustle's meant to be like embraced and laughed at and seen for the folly it is. The, the whole scam on it's not about like whether you go surfing or snowboarding. The whole thing is to realize that you're going to spend the rest of your life either running from the hustle or realizing that there's no escaping the hustle. And then you get busy living, dude. So, I, you know, I, I used to my, I have my buddy, Johnny Strange. Right. And Johnny Strange was like the, a wingsuit pilot. You go to my early videos. I used to interview Johnny. Johnny was a rad dude. Johnny was a rad dude. But he was busy running from life, dude. Running from the hustle, dude. Oh, I'm going to go wingsuit. Wingsuit it, dude. And it, it was one of those wingsuit dudes. And then one day, he jumped off the, the cliff and smacked the wall. Game over. Game over because there's no escaping the hustle. The hustle is that the miracle isn't right here, dude. You don't need to jump off a cliff in a wingsuit to find the miracle. You can because you want to. That's totally cool. It's I was watching this thing, right, the other day, and I just stumbled on it. It was about this young dude in his 20s who was, like, from Chamonix, France. And he wanted to snowboard all these, like, mountains. So he went up and he snowboarded, wanted to snowboard Everest, snowboard down from Everest was his whole thing, right? So he went up and, and everyone's like, yeah, dude, like whatever. So he went up and he got like, he snowboarded like down to like a, one of the base camps or something. But in his like weird analysis of it all, it wasn't official, right? So he would, instead of him just like calling it good for the season and being like, wow, dude, like I did something gnarly that no one's ever done. He was like, I got to like go back and do the thing. And he went up and the, the shirt was and everyone's like, dude, like, no, bro. Like, it's a bad call, dude. Like, you're good, dude. You're good, dude. And he went up and did the thing. And like, he, they've never found his body again, dude. The dude disappeared. <laughs> Maybe that was the goal, right? But what I'm getting at is most of us, and I have spent a, a full victim of this thing have spent our entire lives searching for something that's right in the center of our reality, dude. And we thought that the search involved getting away from the, the, the hustle and the scam and the whole thing. And it's like, no, dude, the scam was not, was to not look with inside of ourselves and face the truth. Yeah. Yeah, when, when if you're gonna go out there on the limb, it's super depressing. I like I do as a dude who deals with depression, like or has or whatever. Like, yeah, if I don't realize that God starts with my decision to stay contact as the human Tesla coil, it's super depressing. When I go out too far away from that, like, oh, bro, it's overwhelming. It sucks. It's hectic. It's ah, and so. So I get back to the thing of like, the hustle is real. The matrix is real. Whatever that means for you is up to you. The devil is real. But you know what's more real than all that? Is God's grace for you, dude. 
And that can be defined however you need to define it for right now. Like, like I've realized more and more like that it can't be, it can't, you can't be hardened to it, dude. It, it, like when you get to it, it becomes very, I'm very hardened to it in my own personal existence. But when we talk about it, we try to communicate to our fellow fellow crew members on, on Spaceship Earth. Like we have to be very loose with these things because we're we're talking about like like they're either fully like gifts that make you fly or they're boat anchors that make you sink. Right? Like when we talk about like that's why I would like I have, I do not recommend waking people up anymore. Like, and I've talked about this for years. Like, don't wake people up. Don't share the truth information with them because what you're doing is you're setting them up for the brick wall ahead, dude. And that's okay. That's okay to be ready to 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 be the uh, hit the brick wall if there's no one to tell the truth to, dude. And and they bounce back. Like that's where like it gets dangerous. Like, and you got to be ready with the with the with the with the with the God water right there, dude, because when they hit the brick wall and they go, Oh, there's nowhere to go with this. Like you gotta be ready and go. Yes, there is. It's God. Like the thing that you, that, that the person you wanted to tell wasn't a person or entity. It was the truth was God. And, and, and you get back to that thing of like, that's, that's the hustle is like, yeah, man, like it's right here, right now, right here. It's right here, right now, dude. So I don't know, dude, but uh, I do. I do. I'm going to cut this one a little short. Um, the only thing you can in your way is your, you, is you, my guy. Yeah, exactly. So a psychedelic journey is temporary. The real mystical journey of life is is unfiltered and raw. Yeah, that's super raw. What happened to him? Um, doing everything with full awareness of self, and the, yeah, that's that's all you. That's the mystical experience, Ryan. That's, that's what that, and if you listen to all the mystics and, and all of these people that tell you the same thing, like that's, that's how you know it's a hustle, right? Like I, so I've been checking out the fracturing of the, of the cults, right? the fracturing of the cults prevalent over the last, like, like last month, right? Because because the cults or the or the group mindset or whatever it is will hit the brick wall eventually, dude. It it, it spins itself out, dude. It spins itself. Do you, where do you listen to Neil Kramer at? You go to uh, you um, I think you type in Romecast, or you can just type him into the YouTube. You'll he'll come up. Neil Kramer, Romecast, they come right up, dude. Here, I'll pull one up for you, dude. Wait, let's see. Ah, uh, YouTube, YouTube, yeah, YouTube. All right, I'll, I know right where to go. Just a second. Let me. Chromecast. Bam, dude. Here it is. Ah, uh, this is a good one. It's from like seven months ago, but I think that's as Chromecast. But um, it'll get you to where it'll it'll. I I listened to an interview of his really, really the other day, dude. So here's some Neil Kramer. The last room cast was like seven months old, but it's it's uh, it's that thing. And it and again, it's like you know, back to the uh, Neil Kramer, dude. The stages are interesting in life. You're sharing them. It helps others navigate their own. Yeah, yeah. That's the, I, I was, you know, what's funny. I was talking to Al the other day, right? And I was talking to him about, you know, the mistakes I made as, as a young adult, not listening to my parents, right? So, and I gave, was giving him the example of the VW bus. So when I was, when I was younger, I was like, I want a VW micro bus, dude. Yeah, dude, I want a VW micro bus. It's my whole thing. And then like, there was like a time when like, we were all, all my friends were getting them like older VW. This was like in the early nineties, right? So we were all getting, everyone's getting pop top, combi campers, the whole thing. And I was like, I gotta have, I, that's what I need to have, dude. Like to complete my surfing thing is I need a, a, 
pop top. So I, my parents were like, dude, you don't want one, bro. You, you don't want one at all, dude. And I was like, why? And they're like, dude, like they have, like, you gotta be ready to turn wrenches. They lag, they break down. It's, it's a whole thing, dude. Like, trust me, man, you don't, you don't want one. I was like, no, dude, I gotta have one. My parents used to be like, dude, you really don't. And, and somehow like I ended up doing that, like the willing my way into one. So I got this rad 1969 yellow VW camera comic thing was rad. Dude, took it down to Mexico, was cruising, was rad, got all into it, dude. Had the idiot's guide and the whole thing and would like tinker on it and do my valves and the whole thing. Was way into it, dude. And um that I have the rad story about Mexico, dude, with the with the village and the watermelon village. Well, I'll tell that another time. So anyway, I was I was sitting there and and I was I was telling Al this story and I was up in I got arrested on the Amtrak and and put in jail in Klamath Falls, Oregon, right? Because I was out of control. And um, that's another story for another day. And I, I, so I, I had to go back to Klamath. I lived in Portland, Oregon. So I had to go to Klamath Falls, Oregon to like go to court. It had a court date. So I left the night before I left in my VW bus. And I'm going down Interstate 5 the night before. And I'm in at, at Drain, Oregon, exit 99. Drain, Oregon, dude. And literally, like, I look in my thing and I have to be in Klamath Falls the next day. I look and there's flame, <laughs> flames shooting out of the vent, dude. Like, 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 like flames, dude. And I remember, like pulling over and like looking at it and being like, I had that like duh moment where I was like, Oh, this is what my parents had warned me about. Uh-huh. Like I have to get, and I'm out in the middle of like rural Oregon and I have to be in court tomorrow. And my car is on fire. It didn't burn to the ground. Like it just went out. Like the minute I stopped at the gas stop, whatever, dude, it just, but I, but I was like, boom. So I grabbed my skateboard and my, uh, and my sleeping bag. I grabbed my skateboard and my sleeping bag. Never looked back, dude. I don't know what, I don't know whatever happened to that thing. I called a friend of mine. I had, they had to come pick me up. They got it from Eugene. They had to come pick me up. And then drive, and we crashed out over there. Like, it was like a whole thing, dude. But I, I always, I tell that story because, like, like, yeah, I willed my way into this thing, and I, it was rad. But the moment I really needed this thing to work for me, it burst into flames, and I, and I got it. Like, I, like, I understood like a lifetime of not listening in like one moment standing on the side of interstate five with my skateboard, and my sleeping bag going, dude, if only you would listen, you wouldn't be in this predicament right now. I mean, it all worked out in the end, but I always think about it. Cause like, I wonder whatever happened to that thing, dude. Like it just got towed away and I never heard anything about it ever again, dude. But I love that bus, man. But it's that thing of like, and the reason my parents were trying to share that with me, unbeknownst to my, like, I know everything vibe was that they had been through that themselves, dude. They'd been through the VW buses with their friends and their weirdos and the, you know, the seventies and the whole thing. They, they, they're like, dude, like, why would you do that to yourself? It like, like I could, it, it, I could literally see them in like in 19, well, it, was, it must've been 1994 ish sitting there in 1994, dude, the golden age of America, man, 1994. Like, why would you do that to yourself, son? Like, why would you like, why would you want to not have this perfectly good Mitsubishi pickup truck and trade it in for some VW bus? Like, what is wrong with you, dude? Ah, I go, dude, it's bitching. 
it fulfills my postcard of what my life's supposed to look like. And I think that's one of the things that like, like people don't realize is, is people live their life via postcards, like what it's supposed to look like according to a postcard. You ever see like a dude draw or, or a couple or whatever, a girl, whatever, they're driving down like the highway or whatever, and they're in some old car, but it's been perfectly restored, right? It's like a bitch and older car and it's perfectly restored. Not one of those like antiquer dudes. Those are like, I mean, like, you know, like, a, you know, whatever, dude, you get what I'm saying. And they got the hat on and the outfit on and the wind's blowing in their hair and they're sitting there and you, you go, they've invested their whole reality into this like postcard moment. Is it for me? Is it for them? I don't know. And I go, I see it all the time as people have dedicated their life for like a split second postcard of what it's supposed to look like according to some like thing. I mean, it's like, it's Instagram and reality, right? I've done that. I was like, if I have this VW bus and the stack of surfboards and the bowl cut and the this and the that, like I am. And the, we're, we're, the lesson I would say between my 20s and, and, and my reality now is like, you don't have to do anything to be what it is that you are. You just have to be what you are, right? If like, there's no special t-shirt to wear to be like, like, I'm a homesteader, dude. Like, like literally, dude, you're just down at the John Deere factory one day or the Don John Deere dealership talking to Oliver being like, I need to get a tractor and I'm a rookie, dude. And they're like, OK, like, so what are you doing with it? Like, I don't know, dude, I need to be I'm doing this thing because at, at the beginning of all postcard realities is the dude. But I don't shy away from that. I just go Oliver like Oliver's my buddy now because like I didn't have any pretense of like i'm a postcard dude i was like dude this is what i'm trying to do I'm trying to grow all this like like medicinal herbs and i want to start this thing and get this going and this is what i need and he's like look you don't want that you want this and like let's get you all dialed in and the whole thing dude i don't have a t-shirt that says john deere on it dude you know i'm, I'm saying and 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 i think in my 20s I was convinced that I needed to have a t-shirt that said, I am whatever it is that I am to be what I was, but you don't. It, again, it goes to that psychedelic experience thing, right? Like you don't have to, you don't have to have to take psychedelics to have a psychedelic experience, dude. You just have to be and then you'll realize that that is like the pinnacle of psychedelics is just to be. It's just to be. Like if you could like, like, trust me, like most psychedelic experiences lead you to be like, I just want to go back to where I was before this started. And you're like, I can't. So I'm going to go forward. Like. Do you really, do you really want to find out what's there? Because you already know. That's why you think you need to go there, dude. Like, I don't know, man. You know, it's that whole thing of like, you know, why, why, why they asked, they asked the mountain climber, like, why did you want to climb the top of the mountain? Cause it's there, right? Like, yeah. Like it's human exploration. Like we're explorers, but what I'll tell you is like, you all like, there's this book called river of doubt by Candace Millard. I think I got a review on it. It's about Teddy Roosevelt after he like lost the presidency and the whole thing. He goes and he, and he wants to, there's one last river in the Amazon that hasn't been charted. Like one last river in the Amazon that hasn't been charted. He's like, I want to, I got to get down there and be that guy. And it almost like kills him, dude. Like he gets sick and the whole thing. It's a rad, it's a rad read. But at a certain point, like every river in the Amazon, somebody was like, I'm going down it, dude. I went down it. Like there was a whole time when the Amazon was unknown and dudes were like, ah, oh, let's go down that, see what's down that one. And then at a certain point, like nobody gets to be the new dude who's like gets to, to name the river after them, right? Kind of thing. 
And to me, that's what it is. Like the, the Amazon's been mapped, dude. We know what's in every corner. I don't know, dude. Who knows, dude? There could be like a portal there that no one knows about. And I'm sure there is, dude. But what I'm getting at is the psychedelic thing's been mapped out. It's there's no exploration left there. All the all the scientists have come back with the data, dude. You don't need to go there and and like dude, like literally, like you can be like read a book about it and be like, okay, dude. You re, you want to read it? Like go read all those Huxley's Doors of Perception. Realize that like the whole psych, dude. I will tell you this on the psychedelic thing. I don't know why I'm back to it, but because the psychedelic was a globalist agenda put forth. Go go. Go check out weaponized anthropology and realize that the psychedelic thing was dropped on you by the globalists and the controllers and the Satanists because they don't want you to look where it all is, which is right here, right now, baby. That's it, dude. It's not over there, dude. It's been explored. It's been found out. It's been organized. The whole psilocybin thing, the Terrence McKenna, all that shit was a plant by the globalists to trick you from realizing that you contain it all, man. Like, like that's the thing that nobody's that 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 all the infighting's about. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck that, dude. It's right here, right now, dude. It doesn't matter what your t-shirt shit says, dude. It's right here, right now, dude. That's the whole rub. That's where God exists. And God is the infinite psychedelic experience, If you, to use that archaic, non-descriptive word that just means gobbledygook at this point, dude. So, I just say steer away from all that stuff, dude. Why? Because you can, you can go check out John's Irving, Jan's Irving weaponized anthropology and see his map. Dude, when you realize who funded all these people, dude, when you realize who's behind all of this stuff and you just go, ah, those dudes again, it's the same thing. It's, it's, it's my whole trip. Like you want to smoke weed? Like fine, dude, like whatever, dude, just grow your own, dude. Like take ownership of it, dude. Don't go down to the government pot store and think you're a revolutionary Dude, like that's when I'm, I'm telling you, when I got sober and I saw a dude with the T-shirt or a meme with the T-shirt or whatever it was, dude, it was written on a dude's T-shirt. It said the revolution is not in a bottle. I had spent my 20s and 30s thinking I was fighting the man by drinking their elixir, dude. It would have been one thing if I was busy distilling my own booze or microbrewing my own stuff. Maybe, 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 maybe not. I'm an alcoholic. So, but what I'm getting at is half the stuff we do to think that we're getting out of the thing is being sponsored by the thing that we're trying to get away from, dude. It's, and that's the rub. That's the rub, dude. That's, that's the harsh reality of it all. That's what causes the depression, thinking you're thinking you're getting away from something that you're digging deeper into and going, why is it still going on, dude? Stop digging. It's here, dude. It's all right in this moment. Unstable, dude. Of course it is, dude. Why wouldn't it be, dude? Why wouldn't it be stable? So I got, I got, uh, I have to leave in 10 minutes. Okay. And so it, it's, it's, it's this thing, right? What, it, what is the, what is the uh, reaction problem solution, problem solution, reaction? What is it? Problem, reaction, solution. Is that how it goes? That's it's that up. Like everyone sees that in the buildings falling to the city or, or, or the or the needles flying into the bodies, or like the the clamping down. Problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution. But nobody sees it on the micro level, dude. In your own reality, problem, reaction, solution. Most people are handling their problems in the globalist agenda model. You, you can see it in the big picture, like oh wow, like yeah, that's globalist. Like that's why I'm so anti-truther people right now or the truther movement or whatever it is, is like, 
or Patriots or whatever it is, is like, you can't claim to be a Patriot stuffing Doritos in face. I'm sorry, dude. You can't be a truther without telling the truth that the answer is God. Like, oh, books, dude. How do I sell books? How do I sell my propaganda? How do I sell my channel? How do I sell my t-shirts about the truther and the, and the, and the Patriots in America and this and that one, when, when it all comes down to a simple understanding of what three letters mean, G O D dude, like, Oh, that's the answer to the truth. You mean the, the whole truth or movement can be summed up in three freaking letters, G O D like God, God's the answer to the truth. Yeah, that's it. That's where it all goes. It all goes there. Anyone who, any truth or that's sitting there bullshitting you about buildings and new world order and globalists and this and that's hustling you dude hustling you because every step along the way they can just keep casting you in cash for those dollar bills dude uh, chickens in the front yard dude so so that that's what i'm getting at is 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 it's obvious dude like like, I, so there's this like group of people right now, right? Like there's this like group of people that think they're all alternative, right? And, and, and they claim to have, be talking about God, yet they, they, they spew hate. I'm telling you, man, like, that's the thing too, dude. Like be wary of, of anyone talking God that doesn't, isn't like, you know, you know how to get to God is not to condemn people, it's to forgive. Like it's it's like that type of thing, dude. Any, anything in between's a hustle, dude. It's it's and hustles are fine. Like yeah, dude. Like buy a T-shirt, put some money in the, the thing. That's legit. This like pretending that we're not all on an angle and all on a hustle is is a hustle in itself, dude. Everybody's on it, dude. But what I'll tell you is is like at the end of the day, dude. It the end of the day. It comes down to the name tags, dude. I, I, I was talking to my buddy about today. At the end of the day, it comes down to the name tags, dude. If you can't be cool to the cashier, dude, it doesn't matter that you're a patriot. It doesn't matter that you're a Christian. It doesn't matter that you're a homesteader. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. If you can't walk into a store with some person you've never seen before that's got a freaking name tag and address them by their front name, none of it means shit, dude. The psychedelics, the odd, uh, the new world order I'm fighting against it, the Gadsden flags, the this, and I'm that, and I'm this, and I'm that. None of it means anything if you walk into a store and you don't give that human being with the name tag the courtesy to acknowledge. Bad connection, dude. Oh, we, we get, we, we're, we're, we're bad connection. <laughs> bad connection, dude. <laughs> I'm all fired up on the rant today, dude. You know why? I'm watching my chickens in the front yard, dude. They like me. They're my friends, dude. Look, I, 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 I'm a, I fail at this constantly, dude. So the dude I'm, the dude I'm ranting at is me, dude. You do know that, like, I'm the dude I'm ranting at, dude. Because every one of those things I do, I, dude, you, you think I don't want to get on a horse with my American flag and my saber and my constitution and run into the thing and just, yeah, dude, yeah, I do. You think I don't want to escape all this in a helicopter at the top of some peak with my snowboard? Of course I do. You think I don't want to drop a bunch of ass? I don't really want to drop any ass anymore. Dude. That's that's old old hat. But what I'm getting at is you think that like anything I've said, I don't I don't participate in. Of course I do, dude. That's the point. That's the hustle. Is to say that like I don't, I do, dude. I fail constantly, dude. And that's the gift. That's what the now is about. That I don't need to. I don't need to escape that anymore. I don't need to escape my own insignificance. I don't need to escape my own failings, my own shortcomings. Because the flip side of not escaping those is my own significance, my own attributes, my own longcomings, dude. Right. So it's that. That's that's why this now thing is where all the juice lies, dude. It's it's you. Washing the dishes, dude. It's you looking at God and being grateful for the dishes to wash, dude. It's super hard. I got it, dude. It is, it is, it is a mind melder, dude, to break the spell, dude. And and the spell requires constant diligence. Con dude, I was the other night, 
the other night, man, I was sitting there and everything was tranquilo by the fire. And like, Al was just not going to clean up his mess, dude. He made a big mess in the living room, the whole thing. And it was snowing. It was all beautiful. And like, Al was like, then he did the worst thing ever, which he was cleaning it up and complaining about it. Like, blah, 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 blah. and I lost it, dude. I was like, I snappered about it. And I sat there and I was like, what is that, dude? Like, what is that? How did that spot flip so much? And again, is, is it was the pre-moment before going of, of being totally convinced. Ah, just, I got to go. It's my wife, dude. Hey, use the name tags link down below.